G. So we're going to play our G chord. C. D7. I often play D instead of D7, but it's got the C in it. G. So the G. And then just let these fingers come across. C. Holding that C down. D7. And then back. Okay? Yeah. Now the bass drum, you can either do it, if you look at my right hand, a lot of the um, folkies and Peggy Seeger and the like would play like this, with picks on usually, but picking, it's known as the Carter family style. So it's got an alternating bass, on the G it's a 6-4, six, 6-4. Six, four, six, four. Five, four. And I'm brushing down with my middle finger. Then the D, because the D is on the fourth string, is, is a four five. Okay. That's the D seventh. And then back to the G, which is a six four. Okay. That's basically what we're doing. We're going to use a flat pick to do it. You haven't got to brush all the strings or make it really loud. The, the strum can be really gentle and just the middle string. So I want you to practice that. And then change to C chord and do a 5 4. Just want you to get that bass kick clean. Okay, then a D7. You've got the left hand in just so you know what chord you're playing. It might be worth zooming out and getting all this in, get both mm. hands. So we've got a four, five, four. And then so we're in the key of G and if it starts in G, the chord it ends on the G chord. So we've got G. C. Seventh. D seventh is kind of unstable. I want to go back to the root chord, which is G. G. Now most of bluegrass backing is like this, but let me explain what's going on here. We've got the counting one and two and three and four and so we've got a whole bar on that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four as a two bars. And we go to the C. One and two and three and four and one bar. On the D. One and two and three and four and back to the G. One and two. Three and four and now the, the Woody Guthrie's um, talking blues. You may not have heard these things, and Bob Dylan did a lot of talking blues copying it. But this is the sequence of that, and it's quite a useful. The talking blues are quite useful. I just sing and, and play one if I can remember it. Heaven, let me tell you how to do it. You gotta grease your feet in a little mutton stew. Find your way to the promised land, Grant Hat Land. Uh, ease right over to the promised land. Make it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. So um, 
let's look at what we're doing. So we're counting. We're we're on. We've got off beat. Um, oh, rest between each of the beats of the basic strum. One and two and three and four. Those ands, those off beats, are really important because that's where we we we'll go. One and we put hammer on arms and fillings. Or with this we can play. And I gave you a document on this. One and two and. So we can drive this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So I've got bass one and and then for the two and, instead of just two and, I'm two and strumming back. And we get this kind of. of those off beats of what you're going to do with the off beats so um so it's not wet it's just damp and then place the pick and it gives you more grip on okay. the pick and it tends to stay like that you can play it really really quietly and you can change them to put some em em simple 